Also tonight, newly released body cam video shows the moments of Santa Clara County deputies and San Jose police entered the VTA building. It's just minutes after the first 911 call during last week's mass shooting. KPI X5's Maria Medina has the video that may be disturbing to some of you. Investigators say there were more than 100 people at the VTA rail yard when last week's mass shooting took place and that more people would have died if it weren't for law enforcement's quick response. Just seconds after sheriff's deputies and officers entered this VTA building, a gunshot that pierced this window could be heard, possibly directed toward law enforcement, according to investigators. It's then followed by two other shots now believed to be the gunman taking his own life. I would believe he either heard us or saw the flashlights through the windows. The work they did that day is heroic. I got that white hat. The five law enforcement officers who arrived first got there just two minutes after the first 911 call. As they go up the stairs, a VTA worker comes out of the building. Back up, back up and hands the deputies and officers his key card, giving them access to the building eight minutes after they arrive. Okay. Give me your key card. Where's Seconds key card later, that's when the gunshots ring out, and the team, part of two agencies that train together, discover the suspect dressed in VTA clothing, a gun in his hand, just 10 minutes after being dispatched to what's now known as one of the worst mass shootings in the Bay Area. By the size of this building, the fact that they were able to go into the office area where he was located, is amazing. Um, they did it right. I mean, they went to the sound of the gunfire. And I've trained in these scenarios a number of times. It's it's uh, it's very very difficult. This protocol, I believe, saved lives. There are over a hundred people in that area. He had a lot of additional ammunition. We'll never forget those innocent victims whose lives were taken by a crazed coward. And families of the victims last week told me that some of them died protecting their co-workers. In San Jose, Maria Medina, KPIX 5.